Hello friends, it's your good buddy Stubb. Welcome to day 12 of the Cork TV, 20 wine days of February, 2020. Let's jump right into our topic today. And today we're talking about Maryland wine. Yes, wine from the great state of Maryland. Now, grape growing and attempts at winemaking date back in Maryland uh, to the 1640s sometime. Although the first commercial winery wasn't founded until 1945. That's Bordy Vineyards for those of you keeping track. Today, there's over 80 wineries in Maryland, uh, eight wine trails, a cider trail, and a mead trail. And there's over a thousand acres of wine grapes under vine in the state, growing over 40 varieties at this point. Uh, so the different microclimates in the four distinct growing regions in Maryland actually make this over 40 varietals in this uh, seemingly small state uh, possible. So the Piedmont uh, Plateau, growing region. Uh, it's a moderate climate, fairly easy for growing grapes comparatively to, compared to some other climates. Uh, the eastern shore, flat, sandy soils, warm days, cold nights, uh, make that ideal for trying some different uh, varieties that maybe we wouldn't think of trying here in the mid-Atlantic. Uh, the southern plain, it's hot, it's humid, uh, makes that great for the uh, Mediterranean and southern Italian varieties uh, of grapes down there. And then there's the western mountain uh, growing region with basically long winters, short growing seasons, so you need grapes there that are gonna develop their sugars and acids quickly over a growing season. So up there generally, you're sticking with uh, Cabernet, Chardonnays, things of that nature. Now the wine today. As far as I can recall, this wine came to me from a partner, Jen, from Wine Antics. And I'm like 99.99% .99 sure that's where this bottle came from. But today we're talking about the 2013 Old Westminster Channery Hill Red Blend. This is 85% Merlot, 15% Cabernet Sauvignon. Look at that super deep, dark color there. Wow, and on the nose, I'm getting some, I'm getting some dark fruit. I'm getting some super um, kind of dusty tannins on this wine, which I really love in a wine. Um, yeah, let's give this a taste. Wow. Tannins are there. They're hitting the side of the tongue and with it, they're bringing some super dark fruit. I'm getting like some raspberry blackberry personally on this at this point here. Those tannins aren't quite puckery. They're not gonna make you, you know, pucker up like you sucked a lemon, but they're definitely there. And then the acid on this wine just brings everything together beautifully down your palate. Fairly long finish on this wine, friends. Wow, I'm really, I'm really impressed with this wine um, and how it's holding up right now. Uh, I'm glad I opened it. I gotta be honest, I just, off the top of my head, having tasted it right now, and I'll taste it again after it's been open for an hour or so. I probably wouldn't hold on to this too much longer, but you probably get another year or two out of this very easily in your cellar. All right, friends, thanks for joining me on your Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week so far. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you sharing. I appreciate you commenting. Have a great day until tomorrow. Be nice, be safe, and be happy. Cheers, friends.